a wall, so repent, repent, all oh, Ethiopia, and all of us included, even though many of us are of another generation, but we must repent so we don't follow in the ways of those who have gone astray, and we get to reverse this curse, because he has put before us blessing and curses, life and death, and it's for I and I to choose this day, and to choose every day, like His Majesty teaches, Karmawi, Karmawi, Haila, Shalase, He teaches that peace is not a, peace is not so much a, a, a is, it's a becoming, that is based on the decisions that we make, all the day-to-day -day decisions that we make. You understand? So peace is not just a is, but it's a it's a process. You understand? Based on how we make our wills obedient to good influences. So here's where we're at right now. Right? His Majesty has covered his face. All right. His Majesty has covered his face. All right. And Ethiopia, in a very great sense, is falling. From grace, it's, it's, it's like in a dream. When you're in a dream and, and you trip, and you kind of like, feel, it feels like it's going on almost forever. You know, and that whole feeling. I mean, we all, I think, at some point in time, have experienced that feeling or that sensation. Now, this is still about the Ethiopian repentance, all right, and it's still connected with judgment. You understand? Know but mercy, we are told, mercy triumphs over judgment. So we were here in Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verses twelve to verse twenty-two, and we got up to verse fifteen, and then we had to prophesy to you and had to show you what is the significance of of that so-called small country. You understand? Where they say it's not about one small country. You know what I mean? It's essentially by a new world order. It was essentially a kind of a flip. They tried to flip the script. You know, it was, it's like what happened to our black Lord and Savior, Gaitachina Med Khanatachin Yesus Christos. It's almost the one and the same thing that happened there. Remember what Christ said? Christ said, if my kingdom, like were of this world, my servants would fight. They would fight. But many of the Ethiopians in that day and that time, perhaps they were shell shocked or, or whatever. But where was the Arbenya? Where were the Arbenyoch? You know what I'm Where were the patriots? You know what I'm saying? That rose up. Instead, we find what they call the palace conspiracy. Now, it's interesting if we were to study how the Paris, the, 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 the Paris, huh? Think about that right there, Paris. Greece, the city of Isis, huh? How the um, uh, Hamas conspiracy against his imperial map, because these are all threads in a sense, but when they all brought together, we can see the garment, you understand? We can see this worn out garment of this old civilization that 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 is, is trying to, um, you know, they're trying to talk about a new world order. We showed you already on the dollar bill. You see it. It says 1776. If we're not going into a... Well, we are going into a new world order, but they are trying to commandeer that by trying to commandeer the thought process to, to, to make you um, think that it's their new world order because you really don't know who you be. You don't know the half of the story. You understand? So really, in a sense, it's like we... Because we... We, we make believe, or they make us believe, you understand, we go along with that, you understand, and we help to, it's like, it's like the Matrix movie, they, they use us like a battery, you understand, they use our energy, you understand, because we put our feelings and our thoughts on, we should be very unemotional about a lot of Babylonian things, I mean, we should observe it, check it out, get the facts on it. You know what I'm saying? But why do we give our heart and our soul to these things? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta really watch that. It's called the soft kill. You understand? Not the hard kill, but it's the soft kill. You understand? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a diabolical um, 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 head and heart operation. 
you know, was what I'm saying, and this is what's being done to humanity. You can see how it's increasing in this day and time because of the time that we're in. You know, and there's an awakening that's going on. You know, so they're trying to keep people um, um, either sleeping or get them to go back to sleep. So people are seeing the signs and, and other revelations. They say, oh, it's nothing. Or they're even suppressing much of these things that are going on. Yovas. And um, prayer is important. Prayer is very important. So first of all, let's continue right here with what, what occurred when Solomon, King Solomon, Yahweh, Yahweh appeared to King Solomon. Yahweh appeared to King Solomon, right, by night, and said to him, I have heard thy prayer, you are hello. I've heard thy prayer and have chosen this place to myself for an house of sacrifice. For a house of sacrifice. In other words, this is the temple. Now, now who would come along? Yo was sent to visit you know, saying King Solomon. It was the queen of the south. It was the queen of Sheba or Sheba or Saba. Right? Your Azeb and Nagish. Right? Um, she is the one who came to visit. And we know that half of the story, Yo was saying, concerning King Solomon, the queen of Sheba. Even though we have all those facts, they want us to make believe that it was just a fairy tale. No, my brothers and sisters. It was not. Even Yeshua HaMoshiach, he mentions in the latter days that the Queen of the South would rise up. And there would be a resurrection. There would be an uprising. Right? I just remembered, hallelujah, thank you, uh, um, for this, that Lamentations, the book of Lamentations, is also an excellent meditation for us when we think about what Ethiopia has gone through since that godless and creeping uh, coup, since the great transgression. Check this out. I think I showed you this before. But in the Tehillim, right, in the Tehillim of our um, Jewish uh, cousins, you understand, know, whether they are Esau, then basically they are our brother in that sense. You know, but, but you can have a bad um, sibling or in-law, you understand, know, and that sibling or in-law can repent and change their ways. That's why when you read in um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 9, you read one kind of uh, Jew who says he's a Jew and not. And then when you get to Revelation chapter 3 and 9, you read a similar description, but this one, he says he will make them come and to bow at I and I feet and to recognize that the true and living God, that Yeshua HaMoshiach, they will recognize that true uh, Shiltan, you understand, which is also the Shiltane, that true civilization, when we grow up to him. If you look in chapter, okay, Psalm 19, Psalm 19, and this is, um, mm. this is called the Tehillim, right, the Tehillim, this is the old copy, you can see the back wall out on it, um, and I don't know if they print this anymore. You understand, we were looking for it. They have all the copies, but if you can get, uh, that's it right there, if you can get a copy of it, it will be very good. In fact, um, hopefully when we come together, can get our acts together, you understand, we can even have things like this scan. You understand, I mean, that's the works. You understand, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. But then Yah says to teach them and to preach to them, preach to these dry bones. You understand, and then flesh begins to come on them. You understand, and continue to preach to them, and then Jah will give that life, that breath, that new breath, that new spirit. Now, in the Tehillim chapter 19, which is a, a um, I don't know if I'll call it a popular, but we are that populous. So for us, it is popular, and that means it's good for us as Rastafari in righteousness. This psalm is popular amongst I and I and whether it's Ayabingi you know, and the Nayabingi or in different gatherings to say this area of the scripture may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart 
be acceptable. We say humbly acceptable before thee. Interesting how the, the Holy Spirit has us say humbly acceptable. Because it's acceptable by Marinya is Yamare. Yamare Yifun. Yamare. Of the Amara. Amhara. You understand? Know and Amhara is not just an ethnicity as they will make you think. It is a Sultane. It is a Shiltane, which comes from that Shiltan or Sultan, that authority, which is all power has been given to me in heaven and earth. That is authority, authorization power. That is in the Greek exousia, exousia power, not deutimus. Deutimus is more higher, higher. You know, we get the higher power from the Memphis Kedus. You 